somewhere around, I guess, ninth or 10th grade in that area, which is in the late 60s, you have the civil rights movement going on, and I'm learning about the impact of the law on the greater society. I'm learning about Thurgood Marshall. I'm, I'm reading about the impact of the law on these areas, and this is a big concern of mine. Um, and so I start gravitating more toward what do lawyers do? Who are they? How do they do this? And then I, um, I read To Kill a Mockingbird and I, I saw the movie. All these things came together around the same time. And, and, and Gregory Peck's character, as corny as it is, he, he takes a very difficult case. And throughout the movie, he uh, demonstrates a certain integrity against all these odds that surround him. And you almost know that he's going to lose at the end, but it seems like he doesn't care that the important thing for him is to do the right thing, is to fight for this particular individual. The scene in a movie at the very end when um, he's lost the case and he's gathering up his papers and the, uh, the, the uh, black people in a town who have come to watch it um, are up in the balcony and everybody else is gone and then they applaud for him and one of them says, there goes a great man. And I, I think about the fact that as lawyers, we often have to uh, stand up against the odds and, and try to do the right thing. Even though we might lose, uh, sometimes it's important to take on the fight. And I, I think the, those are the types of things that encourage me to, to take this path.